For the southern plains during an El Nino pattern, the Gulf of Mexico air, it's really close by. It's ready to move northward. You know, that warm, humid, and unstable air can interact with a surface front, for example, and an upper system, maybe a jet stream coming by. And sometimes that can cause significant rainfall in the southern United States, including Oklahoma during El Nino. Ice storms, something we all love, right? Boy, they're a problem. But during an El Nino pattern, ice storms are less likely because often, you know, that very cold polar air and Arctic air on the surface that you really need for the freezing conditions, it's restricted by the upper airflow from making deep plunges to the south, all the way to the Gulf Coast or to Oklahoma. It's pretty restricted. Doesn't happen very often. But uh, if you check out the 1997-98 uh, El Nino, a powerful, I mean a powerful, big time, significant ice storm struck sections of the northeastern United States is one they still talk about. Well, it seems like most everyone loves snow, except the people that have to drive in it. During uh, El Nino, snow can be very heavy in the upper elevations of say California and maybe Arizona and Utah into Colorado and then spreading northeastward in around the Great Lakes, Illinois, Indiana, and onto the northeast. That sometimes happens, sometimes very, very heavy. So maybe some significant snows with El Nino's to the north of Oklahoma, with Oklahoma still having a chance of some snow. So what was the official winter temperature outlook for December through February of 2015-2016? Well, if the projected El Nino jet stream pattern is correct, then this graphic you're looking at is fairly close. Somewhat wet in Oklahoma down along the Texas Gulf Coast. Dry across the northwest and the northern plains. Looks like a pretty good forecast there. The, uh, the big blue northers should be restricted to Canada. But keep in mind, there are always exceptions in this business. With respect to the El Nino precipitation forecast, winter of 2015, 2016, it looks like this graphic right here. This looks pretty, it looks great. But keep in mind, there will be some aberrations in this as time rolls along. But we look wet in our part of the world, Oklahoma, Texas, dry in the Northern Rockies, dry around the Great Lakes. Looks like Oklahoma should end up near normal, or slightly cooler than normal, and rainfall should be near normal to a little bit wet. So we're saying probably a little cool, probably wet. That's the way it looks right now.